In this video, I'm just going to show you how I shot these amazing portraits. So before we start, if you're new on this channel, my name is Eustace and if you want to see more videos from me, please subscribe and smash that bell icon so that when I put up my next video, you will be notified. Let's do this. So the mission for this session was just to get clean shots with less colors. So you can see my model is in white and we have a gray backdrop. Okay, now let's talk about the lighting. So this is a three light setup. I'll show you the purpose of each light in a bit. So I'm using the AD600 in a 34 inch softbox as my main light. And I think the 34 inch softbox is now my favorite softbox, especially when I'm shooting in my small studio space. It doesn't take a lot of space and the light that comes out of it is, I love it. I'm using the AD200 in a strip box as my rim light and I've attached the grid because I don't want the light to be spilling all over the place. I just want the light on the left side of my model. I'm using another AD200 in a 7 inch standard reflector as my background light and the reason why I added the reflector is because I just don't want my background to be pure white. I just want the gradient background. On top of the background, I want the background to be gray. In the middle, I want the background to be pure white. And I've also added the 5-in-1 reflector so that it can just bounce back some light to fill the shadows under my model's chin. And since I'll be shooting headshots, just after shooting the waist level shots, the reflector is just going to give me a nice catch light in my model's eyes, you see in the photos. I'm shooting with my Sony A7 III and the 85mm G Master. I'll put the links to the gear that I'm using in the description below. So first I'm going to kill all the ambient light. I'm going to set my shutter speed at 1 over 250th, ISO at 400, f7.1 and my white balance is at 5000 kelvins. So I'm going to take a photo without any light. And then I'm going to take a photo with my background light. My background light power output is at 1 over 64. And then I'm going to take a photo with my rim light. And my rim light power output is at 1 over 128. My main light power output is at 1 over 16th. So now I'm going to take a few waist level shots. And then after, I'm going to take a few head shots. <laughs> you give me a few of this. I think just give me maybe five okay. straight face, serious face, and then you change your smile, smile. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Why should I face the camera? Just face me. I do five, and then you keep going. Yeah. Can you just hold it from where I can see it? Maybe some go a little bit higher. Um, where it is, <laughs> just put it where it was, and then just put your hand somewhere there. Yeah. Okay, okay. even the other one. Yes. Yeah, okay. I love this now. These are some fire shots. <laughs> okay, so so let me 
Let me do now. Eight shots. So the main focus is your face. It's short. So the light is coming from the side. Okay. Should I put glasses on top? Let's see. Ah, we'll see. Okay. Uh, shame up a bit. Just a bit. That's too much. Just a bit. Okay. That's it. Same one, uh, do your body, okay. Uh, take it back, take it back, okay. Inside all that greatness okay. and all of your adventures, okay. You're all alone. Nice, hold up, hold up, baby. I can sit beside you while you're going. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos from me, please subscribe and smash that bell icon so that when I put up my next video, you will be notified. And I just want to say a huge thank you to Choro for the job well done. And if you guys want to see Choro again, comment below. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.